fellow YouTubers, YouTube family. Uh, this is my video response to Chicago's finest topic. Uh, is the black race on the path of extinction. Good topic. Thanks for posting it. And my opinion is yes. Yes, the black race is on a path of extinction. We are all in the extermination phase. And this has been going on for many, many years now. Many of us lose our lives on a daily basis. <sighs> I see a lot of blame, a lot of fingers being pointed at one another, which is ignorant. It is the, it's, it is not the black woman's fault. It is not the black man's fault. It is neither's fault. Let's put blame, let's put the blame where it belongs. Who's the blame? The system. It is the system that is doing this. One of their methods that they like to use, disease. Anyone that has researched eugenics, I have researched it several years now. And when you begin that journey of eugenics, researching it, you find some very um, familiar names involved with eugenic projects. You'll also find not so many uh, known names or whatever. But creating manufactured diseases is one of their best ways. We didn't. We we know how many. We, we've lost through diseases that could have been cured. That's one, one process of this extermination phase. The next is the frequency of hate. That's another method they, they like to use. The frequency of hate where we are preconditioned to hate ourselves and each other. It causes the division, the divide between a black man and a black woman. Strategic move. You keep black men and black women separated. That's another process of the extermination phase. And it's working quite well. I see from the, from the different comments, again, the point of fingers at black women uh, and they're dating black men, uh, white, white men or whatever, as if this is the real cause, as if this is the real cause of this extermination phase that we're in. Black men dating white women. Black women dating white men. What the hell does that have to do with our extermination phase? It is nothing more than spreading hate. That's it. People date who the hell they want to date. It's been going on for many centuries. People date who the hell they want to date. If someone finds real love, I'm talking real love. Something pure, something that's sacred, something that is divine, and that other person just so happens to be from another culture. Why the hell is that anyone's business? This is the ignorance that I see on YouTube. I don't give a shit who, who dates who or whatever. But when you're purposely going to another race looking for something and then 
talking crap about your own race. Okay, now that's a problem. And that's from a preconditioned mind. The freak, and they're filled with that frequency of hate. And I see that a lot. I see that a lot. The frequency of hate. It also gets us through the media. From the television to the music. It hits us from all forms. We are such a hated race now because of their frequency of hate that it has it, it is worldwide the hatred towards us and it has already embedded itself into our own system where we kill one another for simple things simple things we purposely set out to hurt one another at times that is the frequency of hate. And that is one of the system's special strategic moves in our extermination process. Isn't it time that we wake the hell up? I mean, yeah, when you think about it, Every great deluge or every catastrophic uh, occurrence tends to always have a few survivors. Will there be a few survivors of us left? Who's to say? But we're dropping like flies. Not a good thing. And here's another thing. The next process that the system uses in this extermination phase for us, sterilization. There, there are so many black women who are unable to reproduce now. Our wounds are being damaged. All a part of an extermination phase to wipe us out. And it is a sad sight to see the, the ignorance that is just going amongst us, ourselves, you know? With this hatred towards one another. What, you know? Hopefully, we will be able to um, break free of those chains of, of hatred towards one another. Because, let's face it, we are all in a struggle together. We are all in the same boat. Once we can break free of this frequency of hate, then we have a chance. And the division that is between us can be mended. That way, we can form a unity. We must unite if we want to survive. It's not every man out for himself. It doesn't work that way. Hold on a second. It doesn't work that way. We have to unite. Well, this has been, I can go on and on, but don't want to bore anyone. But we need to unite. We need to stop all the simpleness. Break free of that frequency of hate. 